this video, I talk to you about Monster Fight Club. Specifically, we look at their newest Kickstarter campaign and check out some of their previous products. My name is Jay, and you're watching Must Contain Minis. I do reviews and showcases of miniatures and miniature related products. My goal is to share with you the options that are out there that are not necessarily from the biggest company on the market. Today I'm going to do something different. After we look at the Kickstarter campaign, I'm going to show you some of Monster Fight Club's terrain. During this video, you will see little data cards on the top right corner of the screen. If you click on those, you will be taken to a video that is actually a review of that specific product. Now, let's take a closer look at the website and the Kickstarter campaign. Here we are on the Monster Fight Club website. You will see that they are advertising a lot for their new game Cyberpunk Red Combat Zone. This is a skirmish miniatures game that they have on Kickstarter right now. In a little bit we'll head over to Kickstarter but first let's look around a little more first. If you scroll down to their latest news you will see that they have painting tutorials set up so you can see how to paint their figures. We'll click on one of those and take a quick look. You can see they tell you about the tools. Here's a tip that I wish I knew when I actually took a look at my miniatures by Monster Fight Club. Going down, you can see they give you the color breakdown that they used. Uh, you don't have to go this much in detail if you're a beginner or don't want to, but if you want to go and paint them as nicely as they did, they give you the entire recipe right here on how they did it. That is an extremely comprehensive tutorial. Now let's go up to the Kickstarter page here and take a look at their previous projects and what they got going on now. Right now they're doing Cyberpunk Red Combat Zone on Kickstarter. Previously they did a number of other Kickstarter projects where you can actually buy these miniatures online or in retail shops. At the end of this video we'll take a look at some products that they sent me in the past for the Monster Scenery Kickstarter which you can now buy at your friendly local gaming store or on the Monster Fight Club website. I also have some of their miniatures to show you. Now let's go back up and take a look at that link for our Cyberpunk Red Combat Zone. Here you can see that they take you to a different page before sending you off to the Kickstarter. And just taking a quick look at what's on here, this game looks very appealing. That starter set with the terrain and the miniatures in it, that looks very appealing. The colors are nice, very cyberpunk feeling. I like it. So let's head on over to the Kickstarter and see what they have going on. Now landing on the Kickstarter page, you can see already that they are doing very, very well. Uh, as you can tell, I'm from Canada, so it's in Canadian funds, but they already have 696 backers and there's still 15 days to go. If you come here on your own, you can go through and watch the video and look at some of the stuff that I just kind of brush across, but let's take a look at the campaign, what they have going on. The Red of Day gives way to the bright lights of night. In Night City's combat zone, Laws are scarce, and conflict is common. Millions are packed in like rats, trying to survive to see the next bloody sunrise. Because out here, in the combat zone, there's no help coming. It's kill or be killed. The world of Cyberpunk Red is set in the year 2045 during the reconstruction of Night City. Massive mega buildings light up the skies above the rebounding Corpo Plaza. While cyber enhanced gangs battle in the shadows, each carving out a bloody piece of ground to call their own. Again, we see the two player starter set with the game in progress with the tire claws versus the maelstrom. So let's take a look at what's in the two player starter set. You get two sides of miniatures, each containing six figures, 20 cards, 12 character cards, and 60 gear cards. You get some terrain double-sided gaming board, the rule book, some scenarios, and all of the dice and measuring sticks that you need for the game itself. Now 
Now the miniatures we actually have already taken a look at on Must Contain Minis, so we'll be looking at them later in this video, but right now I'll put it in the top right a link to the actual review of some of the miniatures that you can take a look through. But the quality on these miniatures are very good. If you're comparing them to the other systems, they're about 35 millimeters from foot to eye. So they would be considered 35 millimeter miniatures, so they're a little bigger than some other people might be used to. But if you're used to gaming with that size, they'll fit right in with your other models. Now here they have a spotlight on some of the gangs, and this one I really like, it comes in the starter set, along with the tiger claws. They look awesome, also in the starter set. Now this one I'm not so sure about, but that's just my personal taste. It's not right for me, but for other people this is going to be right up their alley. If you want to play um, insane clowns, or a gang, a gang of clowns in the cyberpunk land, cyberpunk era, this is up your alley, this one's good for you, the bozo gang. Yeah, we also have the combat zoners, which look really good to me. Gen Red, the Lawmen, these miniatures look awesome. So they draw it in a comic how their combat system works. You can come back on your own time and take a look at that and see if it's something that interests you. These character cards show you the abilities and skills of your character and the points that you need to play them. Now we get to the pledge levels and the unlocks. You can see that they've already unlocked a lot of the stretch goals. If you're looking for more, they do have some add-ons, so you can add in those gangs, they're about $50 each. And they also have some other figures that you can add in if that's what's up your alley. This Monster Fight Club team I have uh, painted up, and they're really cool figures. This page is very long, but hopefully you get a brief overview of whether this is something that will interest you or not. And we're going to head over to the photography table and take a look at some pictures that I took of their products in the past. Having looked at the Cyberpunk Red Combat Zone Kickstarter, let's take a look at some of those miniatures. I got my hands on these figures earlier and had a commissioned painter from Forbes Hobby paint them up for me. His name is Andrew Clayson's. There will be links in the description below on how you can contact them if you want them to work for you. This is Team Monster. Overall, some really nice looking miniatures in 35mm scale. Now check out this gaming table, it was made using just products by Monster Fight Club from their Monster Scenix line. The stuff is available through retail and through the Monster Fight Club website. Let's zoom in and take a closer look at some of this terrain. Again, there are links to the actual reviews in the top right corner of this video. You can also check out my Monster Fight Club playlist for more of these videos. My first review looked at the gaming mats and the trees from the Monster Fight Club scenery collection. The trees have a very distinctive style and I learned that you can iron out creases on a gaming mat. Who knew? If you prefer something shorter, I have a review about bushes. For scale purposes, I use Frostgrave and Bolt Action Miniatures. For Frostgrave, I reviewed the crystal nodes that could be used as objective markers or as plain old scenery. I also took a look at this well with a great optical illusion. This is some well thought out terrain designs. Leaving the greenery, I have reviews of Rock Hills. This is nice terrain to give a little height to your game. I also reviewed their broken ground set. This one comes with some dead trees, area terrain templates, and rocks. Finally, I come to my favorite of the group, and that is the Bridges and Barricades set. 
This terrain is fairly versatile and you can even use it with the other sets to make light fortifications. Thank you for joining me in this video. If you like this content, please check out my other videos. Don't forget, there is also a website called Must Contain Minis full of over 700 articles. My latest post there is a beginner's tutorial on how to paint miniatures for role playing games. There will be links to all this in the description below. Until next time, happy gaming everyone!